Hello and welcome back to another episode of Unique Weapons and Armor of the Wasteland. I am your host, Outlaw0420, Priest of Azura, and in this series we go after the unique named weapons and armor that you can find in the Fallout series, including Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76. Today's unique weapons are going to be a couple of unique weapons that have references to other media outside of Fallout. Our first unique weapon is going to be the Nuka Breaker, which is a unique melee weapon that pays homage to the YouTube series Nuka Break. And the other weapon is that Gun, which is an homage to the sci-fi classic Blade Runner, the gun held by Decker, the hunter of the replicants. Alright, both of these guns are purchasable, like a lot of the guns and armor in Fallout New Vegas that were added due to the guns runner arsenal. They're payable, but they cost a lot. So I am going to show you a exploit that I found out about. If you search up quick way to earn caps in Fallout New Vegas, you'll find videos on this one. But I'll show you this plus our two purchasable unique weapons. So first off, you're going to need to have exactly 35,000 caps. And you're going to want to save before you do this. Just in case this doesn't work. And so you're going to come to the ca uh, Tops Casino. You're going to talk to Welcome this person. To tops. How can I help you? And you're going to exchange your caps for chips. How many chips would you like? And you're just going to do all of them gonna take you a while I'm gonna fast forward till we finish all right we've exchanged Is there anything else I can help you with all of our caps for chips so we'll just go and make sure that we've done that. Yes. So we have zero caps. And in our miscellaneous, we should have 35,000 tops caps. There we go. So what you're going to want to do is then jump on top of here. So that way, if the caps or the chips fall, they'll fall on the desk and they're easy to find and won't spread everywhere. So, like I said, this is why you're going to save before this happens, just in case you don't get it right. So, you'll go here, drop the chips, and then go and find them. And as you can see, it now says, take tops chips, negative 30,536. That means that the glitch has worked. You pick it up, and you come over to her. Welcome to the tops. How can I help you? And you come down to... I'd like to turn in my chips. In what currency would you like your payout? Non-cap currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. And then you say, I want to take my caps payout. Cap. And then you can come back. In what... Cap. And you can keep on doing this all day. I think that's probably enough for right now, so... Thank you, and enjoy your stay at the tops. After a few times, let's see, what are we at? 488k worth of caps. So that will be more than enough. So now that you've done that little trick and you've gotten all the money that you can need, uh, we will go and buy our two items. All right, and our first location is going to be here at Mick and Routh's. The easiest way to get there is to come to Freeside's East Gate. You'll enter into there, and here is their place. And you'll head to the back and talk to Mick. Just let me know if anything... I heard about some things you've done around town. Nice to know someone is helping out for a change. And then you'll ask him, what guns do you have for sale? Have a look. 
And if this isn't your first time talking to him, if it's your first time talking to him, you'll have to pass a speech check of 40, and that will unlock his special uh, inventory. As you can see, he has a King Mantis Brace, and this is the one that we're looking for, the Nuka Breaker. And here we go, the Nuka Breaker, a unique melee weapon, kind of uh, substantial to a sledgehammer. This weapon kind of has a little bit of a funny story to it. It basically has a Nuka Cola sign on it, and then it's used as a melee weapon. I don't want to hit anything. Hey, you're oh. the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Why, thank you. And so let's just test this out real quick. Uh -huh. It also does electrical damage upon critical strikes. So if you have a high enough lick and the a high enough luck and the finesse skill, you'll actually do a lot of damage because you'll be doing electrical damage and that stacks pretty well to be honest. But as I was saying before, the thing about the Nuka Break is that uh the makers of the game, which is Obsidian, uh, saw the series Nuka Break that was came out on YouTube and they put this weapon in as an homage to it. And then the creators of the YouTube series saw it and thought of it as an homage to them. So they put it into their YouTube series. And so basically it was just a circle. One put it in because of their series, and then the other put it in because they put it into the game because of their series. So it's a very unique kind of weapon and story behind this one. So let's get our next weapon. All right, and as for our next weapon, we're coming here to Novak, and we're going to come into the Dynamite shop. And we're going to talk to his proprietor, Welcome. Cliff. Come on in. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Sure thing. Have a look. And in his weapons, he has, at the very bottom, that gun. And that gun is a unique variant of the 12.7 millimeter pistol. And it is supposed to be... Ooh, it is supposed to have a reminiscent of the Blade Runner gun that um, the main character in that movie holds. It has a unique reload, as you can see here, and a very cool charge up. And then once you shoot all six of your, or five in my case, of your bullets, then the light turns and then you'll do your reload action so we'll do that real quick just to show you it's a really nice gun to have and if you can afford the cast when you come here to novak i recommend getting it it's a very good sidearm to have if you don't have the money you can always do the glitch that i just finished showing you guys and that will allow you to pretty much get any weapon in the game. If you did enjoy finding unique weapons and armor in the wasteland and these dosed tones, then hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do whatever else the YouTube gods demand of you. I do have another 51 episodes of unique weapons and armor of the wasteland on a playlist on my channel, so check that out if you're looking to find a particular unique weapon I have done most weapons in Fallout 4 I've done a few in Fallout 3 and I'm doing some in Fallout New Vegas even a few in Fallout 76 so if you're looking for a unique weapon if you have a type or certain like a pistol or a rifle or shotgun put it in the comments and I will look into getting that specific unique weapon as always, my friends, remember someone out there appreciates you because I appreciate you. May Zora's glow guide you ever warmly. Bye.